but I didn't practice this makeup look beforehand so it's a journey for both of us <sighs> I'm obsessed hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new here hi I'm Megan you can call me Meg if you want to and today's video is going to be a makeup look and it's going to be part of a series that I'm going to be doing where I do makeup looks based off of the covers of my favorite books so for today's video for the first episode in this series I'm going to be doing a makeup look based off of The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. What attracted me to this cover, the, pa the paperback version especially, is the black, white, and red in it and like the the stripes here um has I love red it's like my signature color if I wear color because I don't usually grab toward gravitate towards wearing color I will usually go for a red and I love a red lip so I thought it would be really fun to play around with the colors here and kind of the graphicness of this so let's get started so I'm just going to prime my skin with the e.l.f. putty primer matte putty primer and I apply this with a brush And I'm going to let that just set and work into my skin while I do my eyes and my eyebrows first because I think I want to do like a cut crease kind of moment and that's much easier to do when your base is not on yet. And I'm just going to quickly do my eyebrows off camera because it just takes forever to do them and if you want to see how I do my eyebrows just leave a comment down below and I'd be more than happy to film a video on that. Okay, and now that we have the eyebrows done, we can finally get into doing the eyes. So I'm just going to prime with the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer. I'm just applying that with my finger onto my lid. And I'm using my ring finger because that is the weakest finger on your hand, if you didn't know. I'm using about that much. <laughs> And I'm actually going to set that primer with a translucent powder. So I'm just going to use my Cody Airspun. And just using whatever is in the lid from last time. Because I don't need that much. Okay, so based off of the book cover, I definitely want to do some black and white stripes and definitely do a red lip but I think I want to have red on the eye look too um this is the fun part where I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do so it's it's gonna be a journey <laughs> um I think I'm gonna put red in my crease first yeah yeah we'll do that so I'm just taking a matte red shadow. The one I'm using is from Makeup Revolution and just putting that in my crease. And if you see me looking down, it's because that's where my mirror is. And it's okay if it's gonna be messy because we're gonna clean it up later. And then just taking a smaller fluffy brush and um, taking a lighter red, kind of like a salmon-y pink-ish red, and diffusing the edges. And then just taking a angled pencil brush and getting a like medium brown shade and putting that in my crease to really define it. And just, I'm basically drawing on my crease because I have monolids, so you, there's not really a noticeable one anyway, except for when I really do this and they're hooded at that point. Anyway, taking a brown and drawing my crease in. This is really gonna help for when we cut the crease. Drawing where I want it. And I'm just following the contour of my eyeball if you like put a little bit of pressure not too much because that's your eye um <laughs> we're gonna follow the natural contour of our eye see and 
now I have a really nicely defined crease and I'm gonna take a dome shaped smudgy brush like so and just um, blend that out just a little bit but because of the shape of the brush the color is still gonna be really concentrated beautiful you know what let me zoom you guys in a little bit I hope that's a little bit better for you guys to see what I'm doing right now. And then doing the exact same to my left eye. See how defined that crease is now? You love to see it. Love that. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to cut my crease using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer because that's what I have and a small flat brush like this. We're gonna need to get in real close, so. I'm going just right underneath where I drew that line with the pencil brush. And you know what? I think I'm gonna wing this out. She'll be cute. And then when I do my base, this will be covered up. And then taking a larger packing brush, I'm just gonna take a white shadow and pack that on to where I just laid my concealer down. Oh, she's looking good if I do say so myself. Oh, look at that, okay. And now, <laughs> maybe the hardest part, doing it on the other side. <laughs> Remember, just like eyebrows, wings are meant to be sisters, not twins. Although I'm very impressed if you are able to get your wings to match because I've been doing wings since I was like 14, 15. I still can't get that, them even consistently. White shadow, packing it on. Okay, and just on my left side, hang on, can't wait. I'm gonna go in with that pencil brush and the brown again just to redefine the crease because it kind of got lost in the sauce. Once again, blending with the dome shaped brush. Okay, and actually, I'm gonna do that on my right side too. So we have the red, we have the right, now we just need the black. And for that, I'm going to be using a gel liner instead of my usual pencil liner, um, just because I feel like gel is definitely easier to work with. The one I'm using is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Liner, just looks like this. I'm using a brush shaped like this. Okay, now I want to have stripes. I'm kind of scared. Let's do, and just loading my brush up with the liner. And I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make the wing part of the cut crease black. Yeah. It's not really working with the gel, so actually let me try my um, pen. Although I'm really scared because the pen that I have kind of bleeds. Okay. 
using the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I like this for when I'm just doing a wing, but when I'm doing an entire look, it's it bleeds sometimes. So, okay. <laughs> Okay, that's one. Let's do the other side. <laughs> I'm still scared to do it in the middle. <laughs> okay. Okay, and I'll clean this up when I do my base too. Again, sisters, not twins, but Let's see if we can make them more like twins. Okay. Okay. Now. Now's the scary part where we add more stripes. Maybe I should do it with the gel first. Yeah. 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 That feels... <laughs> that feels safer to do it with the gel. Um, then the pen. I'm kind of following the angle that this wing has, because eventually it will become straight when it hits the center of my eye, but... <sighs> Let's do it! Oh god. You know, I'm just swinging this too. No pun intended. I'm just winging this. But I didn't practice this makeup look beforehand, so it's a journey for both of us. <sighs> it's a good thing I had matcha today instead of like coffee because if I had coffee my hands would be shaking so bad that that would not have that mirror just fell this is so chaotic I love it um we'll just we'll just hold it like this yo this looks sick I'm obsessed. <laughs> okay, we're just we're just gonna go in with the pen. The the gel's not working, we're just gonna go in with the pen. Whew, keep praying for me guys. Okay. 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 I have to like take a deep breath. Every time, every time I do a line, whoo! I'm obsessed! Count how many times I say I'm obsessed. I also think I'm going to line my lash line, but only after I do the stripes. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited to see the finished look. Oh my god. And you guys get to witness this firsthand. <laughs> because I want my inner corner to still be white because that'll make my eyes look bigger and more open instead of if it was black it would have made my eyes look smaller. Oh my god. I'm actually just 
fanning my eye right now so it doesn't bleed into my inner corner. <sighs> well, since my eyes are closed, tell me how do you think my lines look right now? Okay. I'm obsessed. Oh my god. This looks so cool. <laughs> This is why I love makeup so much. It's so much fun to just play and see where your imagine takes you. I'm obsessed. I'm so obsessed. Oh my gosh, we need to finish this already. Finish it already, Megan. You know, the lines actually got easier to draw on as I did them. Oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm like so proud of myself. I think I do want to go in with another dome shaped brush and just darken the red a little bit because I think we lost that slightly. I'm going to take a little, a deeper red than what I used before. Oh, that looks so much better. And then taking this small blending brush that we used before and diffusing it slightly. I'm so obsessed. <laughs> Yo, it's kind of trippy, but I love it. Okay, we're gonna time lapse me doing my base so this video isn't forever long and I'll come back to do finishing touches on the eyes and the lips. I'm so excited to see the final look. Oh my god. <laughs> So that is my base done. I will put in the description box all the products I used for this makeup look. Now let's finish the eyes. I'm just going to lightly or thinly, not lightly, thinly line the top of my lashes. Also going to smoke out my bottom lash line with some red as well. So taking the deep red that I used in my crease on a smudgy brush, dome shaped smudgy brush. taking another small blending brush and that salmony pink ish reddish color um, I'm gonna smoke out the bottom lash line again cute okay I'm gonna curl my top lashes And applying a coat of mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic in Waterproof. And I use Waterproof because my lashes grow stick straight. So the drier formula of the Waterproof um, mascara helps hold the curl better. Okay, 
and then using what's left over to do my bottom lash line. Okay, and then also using what's left over and going over the top of my lashes. Because there's a lot of white shadow that got onto them. And normally, when I would do my lashes for a nice look like this, I would add falsies. But I feel like adding falsies would take away from the overall look. So I'm just going to use my natural lashes. Um, but I am going to tight line with the Urban Decay. Oh my god. 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion. I think that's what it is because she's a nub. <laughs> And I'm also going to tight line my lower lash line, but I'm only going to do half. So once I get to the center of my eye, I'm not going to tight line, if that makes sense. Because again, if I went in all the way, it would make my eyes look more closed off. I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Okay, and then finally, her lips. I'm going to line my lips with this NYX lip liner. What color is this? In Sienna. And then filling my lips in with the MAC Ruby, Ru Ruby Woo lipstick. It's like signature red i think every red lip person should have or at least have tried and then just in the center i'm gonna go in with mac lady danger and add which is a more orangey red just to add a little highlight I'm gonna go do my hair so we don't have this and I'll be right back for the final look. All right guys and here is the final look. I just did my hair in like some pigtails, um, Dutch braided them to like the crown of my head and added some fake pearls. What do we think? I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. If you've been counting how many times I've said I'm obsessed in this video, comment it down below. I love it so much. I'm so excited to continue on with this series. If this look is any indicator on how well it's going to go with some other book covers. If you have any book covers in mind that you would like to see me transform into a makeup look, comment them down below because I think this is going to be such a fun series. If you want to see more of my face, please follow me on Instagram and TikTok. They will be linked down below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye!